I'm Melissa Muir, jewelry designer and teacher. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate and talk a little bit about the Durston C150 rolling mill. Auto fry part number 128.118N. Durston rolling mills are one of the finest mills that you can purchase for your studio. The C150 is no exception. The C150 features a 150 millimeter wide roller. 100 millimeters, or about 4 inches, is used as a flat surface. 50 millimeters features 11 grooves measuring from 1 to 9 millimeters. The wire portion of the roller also features a handy little sliding pointer which will allow you to keep track of where you were when you were rolling your wires. The C150 also features a side roller with four half round profile grooves measuring in one and a half, two, three, and four millimeters Another feature of Durston rolling mills is a reduction gear that is encased and self-lubricating. The reduction gear on this particular mill is 5 to 1, meaning that you would turn your handle 5 times for one full revolution of your rollers. This makes large passes much easier. The C150 also features a calibrated dial on top of both wheels with a pointer which makes for precise and easy to read gap measurement of your rollers. To open and close the rollers, simply turn the top wheel. Counterclockwise will close your rollers together and the clockwise motion will open the rollers so that you can increase your gap. With proper maintenance, your rolling mill can last more than a lifetime. To help prevent damage and rust, never store your rollers tight together. Always separate them when they are not in use. To help with rust prevention, Simply take a paper towel and your favorite rust inhibitor or lubricant, close your rolling mill down, hold it against your rollers, and begin to roll while wiping your rollers. This will help provide a layer of lubrication and rust inhibitor to your rollers. This should probably be done once a month or more often if you live in a more humid climate. When applying a pattern to your metal, always start with a dried piece of annealed metal so as to never get your rollers wet and to prevent rust. Also, it's always good to sandwich any objects that are to be patterned together in between softer pieces of metal such as brass or copper before rolling it through your mill. The C-150 is a very heavy piece of equipment. It weighs about 106 pounds. With that being said, all mills should be bolted to a table or some other surface that is sturdy and bolted to the ground. 